So let's just come to rest on our backs. You can just allow your feet to fall out to either side. Just place your palms firstly behind beside the body, just shutting down the eyes. So just taking a few moments to check in with the breath, check in with the body. Just feel yourself melting down, really feeling your presence here on the mat for your practice. And just softening through your feet as you scan up your body, up your legs. So softening through your legs, your knees. Softening through your thighs, through your buttocks. Relaxing through the belly. Tracing your mind up from your base of your spine all the way up to the base of your skull. Softening your shoulders down, melting through the back of your heart. Softening the front of your heart. Arms nice and heavy. Palms facing up towards the ceiling. And just relax between your top and bottom jaw by bringing a gap between the two. Tip of the tongue resting behind your teeth. Eyelids are softly touching. Backs of the eyes heavy within the head. Just start to check in with your breath now, just noticing it exactly as it is. Just acknowledging that you're here right now, you're present with your body, you're present with your breath. To give yourself this hour of connection, of giving back to yourself. And just start to notice the breath a little bit deeper now as you start to deepen the breath through the nose and out through the nose. Let's bring our fingertips together and just gently interlock them and place them over your belly, just over your navel center. And with that loose grip now, as you focus your breath at the navel, just notice how the fingers gently separate on the inhale and how they gently draw together on the exhale. We don't need to force the breath in any way. Just simply notice the breath. Notice how it expands your body wherever it expands your body. And if you can notice that opening of the palms, then just stay with that awareness, just noticing the flow of your breath. If it makes it easier for you, you can imagine the breath is drawing through your navel like you're breathing in through your navel center and out through the navel center. So we're noticing the three part yogi breath now. So we wanna notice our ribs. So place your palms up to either side of your rib cage. And just start to notice the breath here. Again, we don't want to force any sort of expansion, just simply noticing your own body, your own breath rhythm as you breathe in and out. Do you notice that the ribs gently draw up when you inhale? And then as you exhale, they gently draw down, they knit together. Maybe even notice how the breath fills the belly, then fills your lungs. Now place your arms out at shoulder height, bending through the elbow, so cactusing the arms here. And just breathing in as normal. But just noticing the breath around your chest as you draw it in and out. Notice how the chest expands on your inhale. And then notice how it gently falls on your exhale. Just feel that openness through the chest as we've moved our arms up now. Just noticing how the breath has expanded. Really stretching and opening every part of our lungs as we concentrate from the belly all the way up to the throat. Just taking your breath in a little deeper. 
And now we'll extend our arms way above us. So fingers and toes are in opposite directions now. Just relax the arms and just continue breathing. Notice how high the breath gets on the inhale. Take four breaths here, four more breaths. Just feeling the expansion of your body, the openness of your body. We're going to stretch the body now. So just start to reach your fingertips and toes in opposite directions. Take a full body stretch and take a deep breath in at the same time. Flowing with your breath as you exhale, gently draw the arms down beside the body as though the breath is doing the work for you. When your inhale comes again, take another inhale, reach your fingertips back and behind, stretching toes and fingers in opposite directions, full body stretch, inhale. As your exhale comes, move with the breath. So you can go slower than you want to, really take the time now to connect breath and movement. As we take it again, one more time, inhale. Really reach it up, expand your body, create space in the spine. Exhale, release and back down. This time we'll take it across the body. So keep your left palm down where it is. And then with an inhale, extend your right arm back, pushing your, right, uh, your left heel away from you. So opposite palm, opposite fingers. Opposite fingers, opposite toes, sorry. Reach them out, stretching across the body. Deep breath in. As you exhale, gently draw them back down to centre. Opposite sides, this time left arm reaching back, right heel pushes away from you, stretching across the diagonal. Really getting rid of tension in the body today. Exhale, release. One more time to either side, inhale, right arm, left leg. Release. Right leg, left arm. Exhale, release it down. Just soften your body, just notice how it feels. On the next inhale, let's take our left leg, our uh, right leg, sorry, left, right leg, draw it in towards the chest, just wrap your arms around your knee. Just keep your left heel grounded towards the ground. Take a deep inhale, push that right knee in towards the chest, towards the center of the chest. Deep breath in, feel the belly press against the thighs. When you're ready, just take your right palm and to the outside edge of your foot. And we're taking happy baby, but just one sided here. So draw the knee in, holding onto the foot. Keep extending your left heel away from you. Draw that right knee in towards the armpit, really pull it in, deep breath in. And then with an exhale, let's take the foot across the body and just place your foot on top of the opposite thigh there. So like we're doing a figure four, but lying down. So just opening through the hips, you might even like a little bit of count, uh, a little bit of pressure here, just bringing the palm to open through the thighs. So just softening with the breath, just taking it easy and steady here. Another deep breath in. As you exhale, see how much you can soften in the buttocks there and in the hip. Let's take that right heel now, bring it over the edge of the left thigh. So we're going to take a spinal twist. So when you're ready, Start to shift onto the left side of the body, drop your knee down to the ground and bring your arms out at shoulder height. So if there's no pain in the neck, you can gaze over your right shoulder. Take a few deep breaths in, feeling the expansion of your spine, so creating space in each vertebra. Actively draw your right shoulder down to the ground and draw your right knee to the earth. Take a deep breath in. Feel that stretch across the diagonal of the spine. As you exhale, gently draw your head and knee back to center. Hug it in one more time. Deep breath in, belly against the thigh. Exhale, release it down. So just take a moment to notice the difference between your left leg and your right. And then let's repeat on the opposite side. So on an inhale, draw the right leg, uh, the left leg in, sorry. Draw the knee in, hug it in nice and tight. Draw it across the chest, towards the center of the chest. Inhale, feel the belly press against the thigh. Exhale, relax your shoulders down, take another breath in. 
Let's take that happy baby or half happy baby. So bringing your left palm to the outside edge of the foot, start to lift the foot up towards the ceiling, draw that left knee in towards the armpit. So if you push and pull the foot against the palm, so pushing the palm against the foot and pushing the foot against that palm, you're going to get a little bit more um, tension or that resistance rather that you can help to open up in that hip socket there. So make it a little bit more active here, really opening up through the tension there. Deep breath in. Exhale to soften down into it. Then we take it across the body. So bring that right foot and placing it on top of the thigh. So like that figure four we did before. If this is too intense, you're more than welcome to bend through the knee. Just take the knee out to the side, now relaxing it down. You can use a bit of pressure to open up through the thigh if that feels good for you. Few deep breaths in here. Exhale, let it go. One more inhale. One more exhale, soften down. Let's prepare for that spinal twist. So bringing your left foot now to the outside edge of the right thigh. Bring your arms out at shoulder height and shift yourself onto the right edge of the body. Drop the knee down. Gazing over the left shoulder if there's no pain. So again, you can keep this active if you want to draw that left shoulder down to the earth. So notice how that pulls you down and opens through the top part of the spine. And then if we push or uh, draw that left knee down to the earth at the same time, we help to expand across the back of the body there. So just feel that into that with your breath. Each exhale you soften down. See if you can relax through the hips there. Trust your body. One more breath in. Beautiful work. On your next inhale, draw the knee, come back to centre, hug it in one more time. Really draw it in, deep breath. Exhale, release it down. Just take one moment just to feel the full body exactly as it lies, just noticing the difference from when we first began to now. And then with your next in-breath, draw your knees to your chest, wrap your arms around both knees, hug them in tight. Let's rock side to side a couple of times. So really massaging through the back of the body, through the kidneys. Really come to each side and use your elbows leverage to push you back up, back to the other side. Let's come back to center now and rocking up and down the spine just a few times. And then this time come all the way up to seated position, swing your legs behind and let's come onto all fours. Wow, my hair's doing beautiful things, <laughs> that's okay. So knees directly underneath the hips, palms directly underneath the shoulders. Let's take a few rounds of cat cow. So dropping the belly down, arching through the back, relax through the shoulders, draw your head up high, take a deep breath in. As your exhale comes, start to round your back, really exaggerating the movement as you tuck that tailbone under, draw the belly to the spine, chin to the chest. Inhale one more time, belly down. Exhale, round your back. Let's come back to centre. This time we'll take an inhale, extend your right leg back behind you. Deep breath in, push your crown of the head and your toes in opposite directions, really feeling that pushing and pulling effect of the body. Inhale. As you exhale, round the back, draw your left knee in towards the nose. Inhale, extend it back. Take your leg a little bit higher this time. Inhale. Exhale, round. One more time, really extend that right leg back, draw it in, take it as high as you can, deep breath in, hold. Exhale, really round it, really draw the knee in. And then slowly release your right knee down, taking it to the opposite side. As we inhale, right leg, our left leg reaches back. Drawing the crown of the head forward, toes back behind. I'm really getting my lefts and rights confused today. Inhale, exhale, round the back, knee to nose. Inhale, take it back, go a little bit further. Go to where you were before, then take it back a little bit more. Feel that pushing and pulling effect, crown of the head and toes in opposite directions. Exhale, round. Give it all you've got with this one. Really take it high, open through the lower back there. Inhale, deep breath in, hold. Exhale, really round the back here, knee to nose. And then ground your right uh, left knee down. 
Let's take it to the opposite side again, but adding on. So with an inhale, extend your right leg back. Weight of the body into your right palm. Extend your left fingertips forward. So opposite fingers, opposite toes. Reach it out. Deep breath in. And then with an exhale, elbow and knee to center. Inhale, extend. Exhale, in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, in. Slowly ground, palm and knee. Opposite side, inhale, left leg back. Weight of the body into your left palm. Extend right fingers. Fingers and toes in opposite direction. Really exaggerate that extension. Pushing and pulling. Breath in. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, extend. Exhale in. Inhale, extend. Give it all you've got. Push and pull. Inhale. Exhale, round. And then palm and knee to the ground. Beautiful work. Keep your knees exactly where they are. Walk your palms all the way forward. Melt your heart down to the earth. Head and heart. So extended puppy pose here or melting heart pose. Deep breaths into the extension between your shoulders, the lower back. On the inhale, rising up, come back onto your palms. Draw the palms back underneath your shoulders. Tuck your toes under, let's come to our first down dog. So walk it out here, take your time. Bending and stretching through the backs of the legs here. So if you want to move the spine in any way that feels organic to you. So if you want to twist the knees side to side, feel free to do so. If you want to move forward and back, you can do that too. So warming up the whole body here, lower back, legs, everything. And then if you're pedaling the feet, start to slow it down. Slow it down till we come back to a bit of stillness. And then reach your hips up towards the ceiling. Extend through the back of the legs to so straighten the legs. It's okay if the heels don't touch the ground. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. Relax down. Look towards your palms. Let's take a slow walk all the way to the top of the mat. And come to a forward fold here. So feet hip distance apart. Drop the head down. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, really melt down. Grab a hold of opposite elbows. Use the weight of the arms to draw your body down to the earth. And just sway side to side a couple of times here. Loosening up in the lower back, the backs of the legs. Nod your head yes a couple of times, looking up and down. Shake the head no. Beautiful. Bring the palms down towards the earth. Circle them back behind you. Interlock the palms here. Take a deep breath in as you kiss your shoulder blades together and then draw the palms overhead. Inhale. Exhale, melt it down. Let the head go. Keep your arms drawing over. Gently opening through the shoulders here. Another inhale. Exhale, let it go. Bring the palms back down to the back of the body. Massage through the backs of the legs. Give yourself a little bit of love here. With an inhale, let's take a halfway lift. Palms halfway up the shins, flat back position. Deep breath in. So we feel that push and pull effect here still. So crown of the head drawing towards the front and then your tailbone is drawing towards the back of your mat. Relax your shoulders away from the ears. So circle them back and behind, kissing those shoulder blades together and relax them back. Inhale, exhale, melt it all the way down. Bend through your knees as much as you need. Let's come reverse swan dive. Come to stand at the top of the mat, palms touch. Exhale, bring your palms to your heart. Just close your eyes for a moment. So just feel into yourself, feel into your heart space. So we haven't set a sun culpa yet, but as we move into these flow sequences, we want to set an intention. So just connect to your heart now. Don't connect from your head. What do you want to cultivate in that heart space? Whatever that is, just grasp that feeling and make it a short I am statement. That I am, I feel, I I am peaceful, I am content, I am balanced, I surrender with ease, whatever it might be. Just feel that now, repeat that to yourself three times. And if at any point you feel yourself really challenged and you find yourself going to your head, use your sankalpa as the anchor to drive back in what you really wish to achieve, what you can achieve. 
So let's take a deep breath in. As you open your eyes, draw your palms up through the side body, palms touch. Let's do our first sun salutation as we exhale, forward folding down. Halfway lift, palms halfway up the shins. Remember that nice flat back position. Inhale, exhale all the way down, palms touch towards the ground. Let's take a big step back with our left, our right foot, sorry. Drop your knee to the earth, we're coming to a low lunge. As we inhale, draw the arms up through the side body, palms touch. Deep breath in here, see if you can really sink down in through the hips there. Protect your lower back by just tucking your tailbone in ever so slightly. Deep breath. As you exhale, bring your palms back, making one big fist, just as we did before, draw that open. Deep breath in, and then just start to lean forward towards your inner thigh to your own degree here. You can start to draw the palms overhead. Use a bit of strength here as well as, sur as, well as surrender. So it's a balance between giving and, and, giving and receiving. Inhale, inhale, rise, palms come back, separate the palms, reach it up. Exhale, frame your front foot. Tuck your right toes under, let's step it back to plank. And you can drop to the knees if you need to. Otherwise, start to lower your chest down. And then scoop your chest forward. Let's keep the heels together if we can, baby cobra. Fingertips directly underneath the edges of your shoulders. Take a deep breath in. Push down from the tops of your feet and your hips into the earth. Lift up from your lower back. Deep breath in. Exhale, melt it down. Tuck your toes under. You can lift to all fours or come back into your down dog in any way that feels good. Stay in stillness here. Deep breath in. As you inhale, extend your left leg all the way up to the ceiling. Three-legged dog. Bend through the knee and just start to circle the ankle a few times in one direction. And then go back in the opposite direction. Straighten the leg, reach it up, inhale. Exhale, round your left foot down. Let's take it to the right side, inhale. Right leg all the way up. Bend through the knee. Circle the ankle a couple of times in one direction. And then back in the opposite direction. Inhale, extend it back, inhale. Exhale, bend through the knee and guide that foot forward. Let's come to the low lunge on the opposite side. So just making sure the knee is directly over the ankle again. When you've got that, inhale, circle the arms nice and high. Sink down in your hips. Just trust your hips here a little bit to open up. Protecting your lower back by tucking the tailbone under. Just notice as you do that, you feel your lower back lift a little bit and that protects in the sacrum area. Inhale. Exhale, circle the palms behind. Palms make one big fist, open through the chest, inhale. Exhale, dip it forward. Come to your own degree towards the inside of your thigh. Allow your arms to come overhead to your own degree, inhale. Rising up on the next in breath, separate the palms, reach them up. Exhale, frame your front foot, beautiful round. Tuck your right toes under, step it forward, forward fold. Halfway lift on the inhale. Exhale all the way down. Bend through the knees. Reverse swan dive. Come to stand. Rising up. Exhale. Close your eyes. Palms to heart. How's your body feel? Connect to your intention, your sankalpa. Let's add on. Inhale. Circle the arms high. Palms touch. In breath. Inhale. <laughs> and then separate the palms here. Let's come to chair. So Utkatasana. Bend through the knees, sit back in your chair nice and deep. Deep breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, all the way down. This time we're going to step back to a high lunge. Step back with your left foot first. Inhale, draw it up. Now see how you feel here. If you really want to get more strength out of it, really step your left foot back. Otherwise, if it's a bit too much for you today, you're more than welcome to keep a nice shorter stance. When you've got that inhale, palms reaching up. Let's take that big fist, so bring your palms behind the body. Open through the chest, inhale. This time, exhale, come towards the inner thigh, really open it up. Find your balance here. Inhale, rising up, keep the strength in your leg. Open the palms, reach them up. Exhale, let's bring our right palm to the inside of the foot and then open the chest to the left. Reach your fingertips high. Option to stay here, option to bring your palm to your hips, or take a half bind as you just wrap 
your left arm behind the back. And you can wrap your fingertips either to rest on your sacrum, your lower back, or towards the inner thigh. Inhale, reach it up. Draw it up, build the strength in the leg. Inhale, open. Exhale, frame the front foot. Beautiful work. Step it back, plank. Drop to the knees if you need. Lower the chest, cobra. Inhale, push the tops of your feet and your hips into the earth. Show our elbows in towards the body. Inhale. Exhale. Melt it down. Tuck your toes under. Lift your hips high. Down dog. Stay here for two breaths. Find your breath. Find the reprieve here in this mini inversion. Alrighty. Looking forward. Let's drop to the knees if we need. Otherwise, guide your left foot forward. Let's take it to the opposite side now. So take your high lunge, inhale, lift up. Sink it down low. Inhale, exhale, make your big fist, palms drawing back, open through the chest, inhale. Exhale, forward to the inside of the thighs. Draw your breath in. Let those shoulders open up. <laughs> Nearly fell over. Inhale, rising up. Separate the palms, reach them up. And then we take that hope open of the chest as we draw the left palm to in, in a foot. Draw your right fingertips up towards the ceiling. Inhale. So palm can stay high, the hips, or take a half bind here. So wrapping the right palm behind, so either resting it on the lower back or wrapping it towards the inner thigh here. Whatever feels good. But really open through the shoulders here. So use this to draw your right shoulder open, gazing towards the ceiling or straight in front of you. Come back in reverse, reach the arm high. Exhale, frame your front foot. Step it forward with the left leg. Forward fold, let's hang here for a moment. Take a deep breath in, hold it. Exhale, slowly release it all. So that slow, long exhale is gonna bring your heart back to center. Take it in again. Exhale. Let's take an inhale to halfway lift. Flat back position. Take a deep breath in all the way to the heart. Exhale, let it go. Bend through the knees. Reverse swan dive, come to stand, palms touch. Exhale, palms to your heart. Feel your intention. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, slow the breath down. Bring your body back to center before this next round of sun salutations. So really just focus on the exhale here. Feel all that energy within your body that you're, cult you're cultivating right now. So all that tension we're letting go in the thighs. With your next in-breath, gently open your eyes. Bring a smile to your face. And with the next in-breath, draw your arms high, reach them up. Exhale, separate the palms. Let's come to that Utkatasana chair. Sit back in your chair, nice and deep. This time, palms together in front of the heart. Sink down nice and low. Deep breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift this time. See if you can just bring your fingertips to the mat. Otherwise, draw your palms halfway up the shins. Inhale. Exhale, all the way down. This time, we'll come straight to warrior two. Take a step back with your right foot. Nice and big, spin it at a 45 degree angle. So we want our right heel to marry up with the arch of, our left heel to marry up with the arch of the right foot. When we've got that, inhale, lift your body up, windmill your arms. So left fingertips are pointing forward. Drop your right palm down, spin your left palm towards the ceiling, take an inhale, reach it up, reverse warrior. Opening through the body there, through the left side. Drawing your breath into your left lung. Exhale, windmill forward. Right palm to the inside of the foot, extend your left finger, uh, right fingertips all the way up towards the ceiling. Wow, I'm really not good with mirroring today. Sorry guys, inhale. Now we're going to take that half bind here. So drop the palm back. If you want to take the full bind today, reach your left palm behind, hook your fingertips together, and then push your left arm into your knee to open through the chest here, deep breath in. Exhale, let's come out of it. We ground the left palm down, extend your right fingertips high, inhale. Draw yourself up by windmilling the arms back to your warrior two. Keep that strength in the leg. Inhale, straighten through that leg. Draw your breath in. Let's take Trikonasana. Reach your right fingertips, your left fingertips over the toes. 
Drop your palm down to either the top of the th uh, shin or to the inside of the foot and then extend your right fingertips nice and high. Inhale. On your next in-breath, let's rise back up. Warrior two, bend through the knee. Warrior one, spin your toes now, your back toes let you come to that high lunge. We're going to bend through the right knee and hover the knee above the ground. Inhale. Rising up. One more time. Hover, bend through the knee. Drop the knee to the ground. Flatten the toes to the earth. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, palms to frame that front foot. We're going to take pigeon pose now. So heel toe your foot across the body. Keep drawing that left heel in towards the groin so that your knee points forward. You're coming to the outside edge of your left thigh. Deep breath in here, open through the chest, stay here if this is enough. Or exhale, walk it down, forward folding. Drop the head down. Option to stack your two fists and placing your head on top of your fists. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, rising back up now, ground your palms, open through the chest, stay here or start to bend through your right foot if you'd like and you can grab a hold of your foot using your right palm here, up to you, open through the chest, breathing in, slowly release the foot down, frame your front knee, tuck your right toes under, lift yourself up, let's come to down dog. Pause in your down dog. Stay for two breaths. So we're going to take all of that to the opposite side now. When you're ready, looking forward. Nice big step forward with the right foot. Spin your back foot at a 45 degree angle. We come to warrior two. Inhale, sink down. Drop your right and your left palm down. Spin your right palm to the ceiling. Inhale, reverse warrior. Open through the right lung here. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, come back to warrior two. Drop the right palm down to the inside of the foot. Extend your left fingertips either high or to the hip. Or take a half line now when you're ready. Dropping that left, <coughs> oh, excuse me, that left palm back. If you want to take the full bind down, you wrap that right palm underneath the knee and lock those fingertips together. Really push your left shoulder into your knee and your knee into your shoulder to open through the hip joint, open through the shoulders, inhale, exhale, release the palm. So release your right palm down, extending your left fingertips high. Inhale, rising up, warrior two. Straighten through the leg. Reach your fingertips over your toes, let's come to trikonasana, palm comes to the inside of the foot or to the shin. Extend your left fingertips high, inhale. Inhale, rising back up, warrior two. Warrior one, inhale. Spin your back toes, come to the high lunge now. We're gonna take that hover. Bend through your left knee, hover it off the ground. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hover. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hover it down, drop the knee. Toes come flat to the earth. Let's get ready for our pigeon. Frame your front foot. Heel toe the feet across the body. Draw the heel close to your body, your left, uh, right knee is pointing towards the top of the mat, so we're coming down onto the outside edge of the thigh there. Open through the chest, stay here if that's enough. Otherwise, when you're ready, exhale, come down to your own degree. So it might even just be here, or it might be all the way down, or you might like to take that one fist stacked on top of the other, just resting the forehead there. So just stay here for a few breaths. I'm just going to just check the mute. So stay here for a few more breaths. Really letting go here. The more we can relax our thighs here, the more deep, the deeper we'll go. When you're ready, start to peel yourself up away from the knee. Ground your palms down, open through the chest, take an inhale. Stay here if this is enough. Otherwise you can start to bend through your left knee. Grab a hold of the foot from the inside. 
Drawing the heel towards the body for the thigh, opening up there. Inhale. Exhale, release it down. We meet here, we open through the chest for one more breath. Push into your palms, tuck your knees under, and let's come to a very well-deserved child's pose. So draw your knees together, hips come back to your heels, head down to the earth, reach your arms straight up in front. So let's just stay here for a few breaths now. So even though this pose feels passive, we really still want to be present within this posture. And we do that by breathing deeply into the spine. So noticing your spine expand and contract with your inhale and your exhale. Each exhale melts you down further to the ground. Each inhale really creates space in your body. Exhale, release it down. One more deep inhale. One more exhale, really let it go. Inhale, rise back up. Onto all fours. Sink your hips back, take your feet to one side. Let's prepare ourselves now to come to rest on our back. Draw your head down, draw your back down. Keep your knees planted to the earth. And we're going to take a few rounds of bridge pose. So we'll take the palms beside the body. We're going to start to peel the spine up. We'll start with the tailbone. So start to lift up, peeling your spine up from the base all the way up to the neck. As you get up towards the shoulders, walk your shoulder blades closer together. Make one big fist with your palms, push them into the earth, lift your hips up nice and high. Deep inhale, really push your hips up by pushing your feet into the earth. Give it all you've got, inhale. As you exhale, separate the palms, release and reverse. Upper back, lower back, Middle back, hips come down very last, pause, and take it again with an inhale, peel up, lower back, middle back, upper back, walk the shoulder blades together, make your one big fist, push the fist into the earth, lift your hips up high, pause here, hold it here, option to take it further, ground your right foot into the earth, with an inhale, extend your left toes up towards the sky, Exhale, swapping it over. Left feet to the earth, push it in. Extend right leg up, reach it up. Exhale, release it down. We meet here again, push the hips up one more time. Inhale, separate the palms, release the back. Middle, lower, hips. Draw the knees into the chest, give yourself a nice big hug. Deep breath in. Actively draw your tailbone or your lower back down to the earth. Inhale. Exhale, relax it down. On your next inhale, draw the head towards the knees. Make yourself into a tight little ball. Inhale. Exhale, release the head. Bring your palms beside the body. Extend your feet up towards the ground. So you're using abdominal strength now. What we're going to do is we're going to scissor the legs. So we're going to opposite legs. We'll take, first of all, keep your left leg straight up towards the sky. Start to lower your right leg down towards the earth and hover it maybe a couple of inches off the ground. Inhale. As you take your exhale, start to swap the legs. So meet halfway in the air. Your right toes extended, your left heel hovering above the ground. On the next breath, scissor. So just go in your own rhythm here. Draw the core in, draw your navel in towards the spine to create that stability. If you're pregnant and this is a little bit too intense, um, I would definitely recommend just bending your knees instead. So let's take it a couple more times, really build the heat, the strength in our core. One more 
more time. Left leg down, right leg down. Keep both legs reaching up and then both legs slowly lower them all the way down. Hover them here, hover them above the ground, hold for three, two, one, draw the knees in, hug yourself, draw the arms around your knees, hug the thighs in towards the belly, take a few deep breaths in, draw the tailbone to the earth, extending through the lower back, deep breath, exhale, let it all go. Let's place the feet flat to the earth. Let's take Sukta Bhadana. So reclining bound angle pose. We bring the soles of the feet together, knees out to the side. Just softening through your thighs, through the face, through your belly. Palms can either stay beside the body or option to bring them one hand over the belly, one hand over the heart. Just checking in with yourself here. So opening up through the inner thighs, helping our hip joints, that place that we hold a lot of our emotion. So that's why we want to be here for ourselves with our palms. We're gently offering ourselves this space to safely surrender. So the palm over the belly is for security. The palm over the heart is just for that sense of compassion. See if you can notice the breath like we did at the start of this class. Notice the belly, notice the chest. You don't need to force it in any way, just simply being aware of your breath as it is. Take a few more breaths. So bring your arms out at shoulder height now. Keep your right knee where it is. Take your left knee to rest on top. Let's take a spinal twist here. So you might even like to draw your knees a little bit closer up towards the arm if that feels good. And then just twist your head to the opposite side. So your option to choose is to be whether you want it to be active or passive. It's totally up to you. To make it active, you just want to actively draw the knees down so you can use your right palm to pull the knees to the earth while drawing your left shoulder to the earth. Otherwise, just simply rest. Let gravity do the work for you. Soften your belly. Surrendering your body here. One more inhale. One more exhale, let it go. Inhale, let's draw the knees to centre. Pause. Exhale, let's take it to the opposite side. So knees to the left, head to the right. Again, option to take this passive or active. But whatever you did on the first side, you should repeat that to this side. Just being present with your body, present with your breath. Let's take one more inhale. This last exhale softens you down. Feeling into the sanctuary of your body. When you're ready, head and knees come back to center, inhale. Exhale, slowly lower the legs down. Just prepare yourself for Shavasana. But before we do take Shavasana, we just want to come check in with the body again, just offering ourselves a bit of compassion, especially in these times at the moment. I think it's nice to just check in, just to know that we have our own back. So if you've done this with me before, you probably already know what's coming. We're gonna do meta meditation. So you can take that option of bringing one palm over the belly, one palm over the heart again, or just bringing your palms beside the body. Close down your eyes if you haven't already done so. And all you need to do now is just mentally repeat to yourself after me, 
but feel this with sincerity as you say each word. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I be held in deep compassion. May I be at peace. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I be held in deep compassion. May I be at peace. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I be held in deep compassion. May I be at peace. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I be held in deep compassion. And may I be at peace. I'm sorry. I love you. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. Stay exactly as you are. We'll bring your palms to rest beside the body. Coming into full corpse pose, into full Shavasana. But before we settle in here, let's just squeeze and release each part of our body just to really settle in here. So as I mentioned each body part, you just want to squeeze and hold as much tension there as you can. And then you release it, you let it go. So starting with the toes, release. Your ankles, your shins, your calves, your knees, release. Your thighs, your knees, your buttocks, your hips, release. The belly, your chest, your shoulders, release. Your fists, your arms, make big fists with your arms, draw it in, release. Scrunch up your face, draw, clench down on your jaw, make your face nice and tight, release. Settle into the sanctuary of your body. Absorbing all of the benefits of your practice. Just acknowledging the space you've created. And this opportunity to return back to your home. When there's many things that we can't control from the outside of our world, we can always rely on the work we can do on the inside of our world, our internal world. And there's so much to say about that work. And the work that we do, this, this hour you've given to yourself, can elicit profound change in all aspects of your life. That reassurance that everything will be okay. That this too shall pass. And the one thing we can always count on is ourselves. So when we show up for ourselves consistently, we build that self-trust, everything else seems possible. Stay within the safety of your body. Feel into the space you've created. Absorb all of these benefits. Connect to your sankalpa now, the intention you set. And each breath you draw in, allow your intention to settle into every cell of the body, into all of those wonderful little spaces we created now. We replace those spaces with beautiful intentions, with our sankalpa. Integrating it with that breath as you draw the breath in. As you exhale, just let go of your chance to let go of anything that doesn't serve you. Take it again. 
Take your breath a little deeper. And exhale, let it go a little deeper. Really let it go. Leave everything behind on the mat, moving forward with new intention as you breathe it in one more time. Really deep in the breath, feel your body here as you return back to your center. Exhale, let it go. Start to notice your body a little more as you feel your clothes against your skin. The sounds that you can hear around you helping you to paint a picture of where you are. Integrate this beautiful intention, this new peace you found into the day ahead. As you start to work on a little bit more movement as you wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. When you're ready, you can take that full body stretch, reaching your fingers and toes in opposite directions. Like we've come back full circle from where we began to now, only we've come with renewed peace, Renewed balance. As you exhale, draw your knees to your chest, wrap your arms around your knees so you can stay here in stillness or rock side to side a couple of times, whatever feels good. Together we'll come to rest on the right side of the body. Keep your eyes closed if you can and just gently draw yourself up like water. Draw yourself up to a comfortable seated position. Let's bring our palms together in front of the heart and rub them together nice and quickly. Just some gentle warmth here. Now up to you, but if you'd like to, you can push your palms into your face. You can block off the light around your eyes. Open up your eyes behind the palms. Allow them to soften in the darkness. And then close your eyes, palms together, forehead centre. May your light and your wisdom always guide you. Your palms to your lips. May your truth and your honesty always guide you. And then your palms to your heart. May your love and your compassion always guide you. Bring a big smile to your face, take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, bow down in gratitude to yourself for giving yourself this moment Especially in the situation we're in at the moment, it can often be a little bit more challenging to discipline ourselves, but the fact that we've made it here today is very, very beautiful. So honour that and honour your beautiful body for all the amazing things that it does for you. And then when you are ready, come back to centre. And from my heart to yours, thank you so much for sharing your Friday morning with me. I hope you have a beautiful weekend. Happy Good Friday. Happy Easter. And um, let me know, give me any feedback about that. It's very strange to, to do this without people in front of me. So your feedback will be absolutely amazing. But otherwise, go ahead and have a beautiful day. Namaste.